Brother Buya, could you tell us uh, a Jesus story that is very important to you? Yeah, the Jesus story which is important for me is the story how he saved Zacchaeus to let him change his life. And he said, now I'm totally changed and I want to do better than before. If he has stolen something for the people, I'm going to pay them back, maybe four twice. And people were ashamed what happened to Zacchaeus, but that is a little life what Jesus did for him. And what exactly is the importance of the story for you, for your personal? That through Jesus Christ, somebody can lead total change from his behavior. That is very important because Zacchaeus used to live in such a way according to the world lifestyle. But without somebody to rebuke him or without a policeman to, to catch him, but through Jesus, he changed total. And there is no stories which tell us against that maybe after his life, the chaos suffered. But the story ended with a joyful. And is this story also true for your personal life? Did you have experience like that? Yes, I have experience like that. For me, I have born in a Christian family. And I've grown up in a Christian family. But there is some weakness you experience in a teenager time. But uh, after receiving Jesus as, as my Savior and uh, uh, my Lord, there is something which I left back. If you met some young people, some people who are grown with me in our age now, they wondered that, ah, is a you booyah, we used to do so, but now you have changed. Moreover, I have experience with other my brothers in our village, who were a total problem, not only for drinking, but even their character. But after becoming Christian, there were changes total from their development, thinking-wise, behavior, even economic-wise. Because they trusted Jesus as the key. So the more of Christianity helped them to develop and uh, the fear of Lord helped them not to enter of the, some luxuries which normal can take a person to the sea. And so the Christian family or Christian life, for example, in, in our culture, those who become Christian eerie are this a model of the family who development in education and economically because they have a limit to do in the society. You can't do this because you are Christian, so it make them to progress. Please, because you are Christian, you should deal with education. You have to read the Bible. So some of them went to the school in order to read the Bible. So there is a difference for the one who received Jesus and the one who hasn't received Jesus. For me, is an example. You said you left, you have left something behind. In, 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 in the Bible there is written, the truth yeah. shall set you free. In what way this truth, truth of the story has set you free? In what yeah. way? For me, it was for fighting. I was a guy who preferred to fight against those people who were against me. I was a football player. During our match, if somebody has maybe hit me bad, it was so easy to turn back for him. And I couldn't have a time to argue with the other people. Yeah, I was fighting, kicking others, but I cannot remember since I received Jesus as my savior, people, they can do anything against me they can lie about me, laugh about me, do anything about me. I don't remember whether somebody I have given even um, a single word or to, to say, I'll kick you out. So people who knows me since I became born again, 
they see that Buya is very polite person. You can do anything with him and he cannot turn back for you. But those who knew me before, they wonder, we, who Buya? We know him that is the one boy you cannot play with him. So, I said, only to trust Jesus and to say, I don't want to harm my Jesus Christ. Because he loved me, he saved me. I'm very tolerant with other people. Because Jesus is doing on beside for me. So I'm not me anymore who people know to know in my teenager time up to 20 or 22. And do you consider that, that uh, impulses of aggression... As the work of Satan or evil spirits or thing, something like that? Of course, because the result of that is Satan's production. If you are aggressive and you're going to fight, you don't know whether. Maybe tomorrow morning you'll find in the prison, or tomorrow morning you'll be have injured, you lie in the hospital, so you can lose the time of development and doing something for your family or for yourself. But I'm saved for that, and I know that now I'm clear. If you are not saved for that, you are waiting some salary for that. So some people who are fighting or doing something, they are be called to the court or to the police station and doing something. So for me, these things are not a problem for me. People can come for me with their problems, but they can't um, laze my aggression. I don't know where is it. I think so. You are freed from the influence of Satan, really. I'm free for this aggression. Okay. I can't desire to fight somebody. I'm sure, but some people who used to know me, they wonder. It says, in your air time, we couldn't talk in, with you in this way. I said, yes, I know, but these things for me like a story. So I'm enjoying what I'm doing as a pastor because I see I'm happy. I'm facing problem, but I like to lose problem in another way, instead of fighting or chasing people or rebuking people. I'm enjoying.